Hello people, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to estimate the maximum PCB size or area before the component placement and layout. So as you can see on the screen, I mentioned three steps. Using those three steps, you can simply estimate the maximum area of PCB. Uh, so here I have considered few points also. So these are few points or you can say the, the measurements that I have considered and I have gone through with lot of blogs and discussions where professionals uh, considered these points like track width, pin density, clearance between the component and tracks, ratio of top and bottom placement and the placement of VRs and test point. So here the VRs dimension is uh, like it's a general VR dimension. Um, uh, here I'm, that, that's why I'm not mentioning the, uh, the size and dimension of VRs and test point. So, so as you can see, uh, like here I mentioned add 25% of area. So that means we have calculated the total area of component on the PCB. Then we'll add, add the 25% of that area. So we'll get the estimated uh, value of the uh, the PCB size for two layer PCB. Same we can do for the four layer. So here I'm just going to demonstrate how you can use these three method um, uh, to estimate the area of any kind of PCB up to four layer. But before going further, here I just want to show you guys how you guys can order your first zero dollar PCB from nextpcb.com and how you can apply five dollar coupon. So click over the first link given in the description. Register yourself with your official mail ID. If you guys have already registered, just click over the login and fill your mail ID and password. And there, or just after registration, you'll give uh, you'll get a five dollar coupon, right? Now I will show you how you can order your zero dollar PCB. 10 number of quantities go to the home fill all the dimensions of your PCB select the quantity to 10 go to the court now and here fill all the information select the first option with zero dollar select your country and select the local China post mail and then you can sell you can able to select either you want to order assembly or not add your GABA files and here you'll see this screen for GABA verification after that you'll get mail from the sales team and here you can see the $5 coupon you have applied and you can order your 10 number of PCBs just $11. So guys just proceed the payment and now we can continue our tutorial. So just open the bomb and here I've mentioned here I've created these three columns. So the one is the X dimension, X dimension of the component, Y dimension of the component, area into quantity of the component right so suppose we have seven quantity then we'll multiply these x and y and multiply it by seven so we'll get the total area of the component right so how i have calculated these areas so as you can see here we have the footprint I, i'll simply copy this this thing from here and uh, i'll go to our library file so we can simply uh, calculate the area of footprint then we'll uh, uh, multiplied with the number of component so how we can simply calculate the area just um, simply set the grid whatever the grid you are using for uh, uh, the footprint design so here I, I, I always use 0.5 mm and press ctrl m then place a diagonal measurement for the particular component and here you will see the x dimension and y dimension right so when you measure the diagonal it will automatically measure the x and y right so simply mention that value on the excel and multiply it by this multiply these two values and multiply it with quantity so you'll get the total area of component so similarly you can use uh, you can calculate the area of component as we did for the uh, cap 0805 so now um, later we will add all of the area and we'll get this value so this is the total value uh, of uh, you can say the area of component so when we when we place uh, all the components on the top layer then the component will take this amount of area in mm square so now we'll apply the the two layer and four layer rule for uh, uh, two layer we will add total area which is this plus the 25 percent of this area and we'll get the 14.05 centimeter square of area for two layer and for four layer we'll apply the 15 percent rule and we'll get the 12.92 centimeter square of area right so let's let's see uh, uh, how this value this estimated value is closer to the actual value so we'll simply open the pcb design that we have already designed for the stm board the area that we are estimating for so now i'll simply 
measure the uh, diagonal so we can see the x and y value here we go so it is 53.5 into 22.9 mm so we'll simply open the calculator 53.5 into 22.9 it's around 12.25 centimeter square so you can see how it is closer to the actual area area of the pcb right because our estimated area is 14.5 and uh, the actual area of the pcb is around 12.5 centimeter square right so uh, like using that method method we can simply estimate the maximum uh, area of pcb and we can start the placement and uh, adjust the area and during the layout and placement so uh, that is uh, i mean these percentage are uh, are very good for the beginning of any layout or pcb design thank you